I'm still on television, Nigerian business news. This hour, let's bring you a wrap up of what happened at the Nigerian stock market yesterday. Well, markets rebounds on bargain hunting in Bellwood, NSE ASI is all by 10 basis points, while the local bulls rebounded, holding a two day bearish performance as the all share index ASI gained 10 basis points to settle at 4,802. 0.78 points, while the YTD return strengthened to 6.7. Accordingly, investors gained 14.0 billion naira in value as market capitalization improved to 14.7 trillion naira. Bargain hunting in market also went like this. Well, the Nestle had 0.5.0 as a plus. Zenith plus 2.6 as well as Tanguti Sugar added 2.2 and that drove yesterday's positive performance as a close of business. In spite of the bullish performance, activity level weakened as volume and value traded dipped 20.3 and 57.1 to 246.6 million units and 3.2 billion respectively. The top traded stock by volume were Transcorp at 35.4 million, Zenit at 24.6 million, and Caverton 19.6, while Guarantee at 805.3 million, Zenit was at 682, and Stambic at 263.1. Those were the top traded stocks as at yesterday. Well, oil and gas index emerged top gainers, while sector performance was largely bullish as three of the five sectors under our watch closed in the green. The oil and gas index was the top gainer of 0.8 due to buying interest in 40. The consumer goods index eased 0.7% higher on the back of gains in the Nestle. And of course, Nestle Dangote Sugar were among the top positions, not forgetting Senate and Access Bank. Well, on the other hand, the industrial goods index led with Lagarde shedding 0.4. Results of sell-off in WAPCO following the negative first quarter 2018 earning reports and released the previous day. Lastly, the insurance index lost 0.40 on account of price depreciation in Contenshaw and Mansard investor sentiment strengthened. Investment sentiment as measured by market breadth advanced and the decline ratio also went up 26 stocks, which all advanced against the decliners. Well, the top performers were 40, Hornflower, when Wild Fitzen, Gilo Speger, and Champion were the worst performing stocks. And of course, in line with expectation, the market performed positively, driven by investor reaction to positive first quarter results in the near term. And it's expected that first quarter 2018 earnings will drive the market performance. Well, specifically, the top gainers as at close of business yesterday were Nestle, from 5.6 to 7.1, there was 40 oil gaining 3.3 from rising from 10. And of course, Zenith Bank um, also gained 2.57. Dankote Sugar also gained 2.19. Dankote Flower also gaining 2.6. And the specific losers, those are the top five losers, where Nigerian breweries losing minus 0.3. 6.2. Corn oil lost minus 4.39. Jilos Beja lost minus 5.00. White Glaxo Smith Klein also lost 4 minus 4.90. White Stambic IBTC was among the very last five losing minus 2.20. While the top two dead stocks uh, yesterday were Transcop, Zenith Bank, Caverton, First Bank of Nigeria holding us FPNH, and not forgetting Guarantee Trust Bank, which closed at 8.05. Billion. And of course, the exchange rate of the Naira for today, as it stands with some major currencies, the exchange rate for the dollar official CBN rate is 305 Naira 15 Kubo to one dollar. The US pound is at 426 Naira to one US pound. And of course, the Swiss pound stands at 312. And of course, still moving on now, other currencies, there's the South African Rand at 24 Naira to 1 South African Rand. The Danish is at 50.0. And of course, other ones you can find at the floor of the Central Bank of Nigeria listed on its website for the exchange rate of the Naira in case you need to change any currency, either buying or selling as it were. Well, that would be the much we will take on TVN Business Time 
for today. But just before we go, let's remind you of Story Start Me headlines. CBN sells $210 million as the Naira closes at $363 per dollar in the parallel market. Glow partners were way on multi billionaire submarine cable. Oil hit $75 per barrel as Iran sanction fears mount. And of course, UK government growing lowest for 11 years running. And as a point, we will say thank you very much for watching. Do join me again same time tomorrow for a fresh package of the program TVN Business Time. My name is Anten Ekbang. Until then, do enjoy the rest of our programs. Bye for now.